from a very young age, I was always interested in science and the world around me and curious to know why animals were doing particular things. There's been lots of highlights in my career. I jumped in a submersible at the end of last year and went down to 7,300 metres. That was definitely a highlight. I, I won an award for my work in my PhD, a Premier's Award, and, and that was certainly a highlight. And also just being able to travel around the world with some of your best friends doing incredible work is a highlight, really. The work that I do in science may seem like it's a really far kind of distant place in what we call the deep sea, uh, but specialise in hadal environments. So anything deeper than 6,000 metres. So the work that we do in the deep sea and the work that we do to understand what's going on in the deep sea directly relates to climate, to fisheries, um, and to things that we have um, impacting our lives daily, whether it's climate change or otherwise. Technology is a huge part of what we do. It allows us to visit the places that we visit. We, without advancements in technology, we wouldn't be able to go into submersible. We wouldn't be able to film the places that we film. Um, we simply wouldn't know that these animals exist. You need to do something that you love. And I think having that at the core of the decisions that you make in terms of your job, I think is really important. It's something that I've stuck with. You need creativity and you need to be able to enhance your own creativity as part of being a scientist. So the arts is really, really important. Being able to harness your creativity for discovering new species, for pushing boundaries, for being innovative. Yes, okay, biology, science, physics, all that type of stuff is critical, but being creative is also very, very important. 